can someone, Ravi, know the meaning of life? You know, that's at the heart of it all, I think, Louis. If you and I were to be sitting across the table with a cup of coffee and asking all the other questions, lurking in our own hearts would be, what does my life really amount to? What, is it, what does it mean? Uh, I was in, uh, we were speaking at, as I said, the Google headquarters last week, and I took one of my co-speakers out for lunch the next day. He's actually my nephew. He's based in Seattle. And uh, I said to him, how did your open forum go with the team in Seattle? He said, Uncle, it went really well, and the most pivotal moment came, and it came to the end. A young 14-year-old boy, very heavy glasses, walked up, and he said, I just want one answer. Can any one of you on the platform give me the answer to what is the meaning of life? Three times I have tried to take my life and I have not succeeded. And he started crying. He said, I need the answer to this question. We all want the answer to the question. I don't have the time to go into it. So let me just mention quickly, I believe there are four things that converge into life's meaning. A sense of wonder or enchantment, the knowledge of the truth, the experience of love, and the safety and security. Wonder, truth, love, and security. A child finds it an enchantment. A person grows up in the young years and they want to know what is really the truth. I don't want just fantasy. I want something that's fantastically true. And you mature even more and you really want to experience love. And when you're staring death in the eye, you want to know what happens to a person after they die. That's why I say the four questions of life are origin, meaning, morality, and destiny. Jesus is the only one I know who answers them with corresponding truth and coherence. The meaning of life is in the enchantment of knowing God, knowing he is the truth and has created you for a purpose, sheds his love into your heart and gives you that sense of belongingness and ultimately rises from the dead in giving you hope beyond the grave. Meaning comes when these four come together in a composite whole and you live it out. That's why the psalmist says, out of the mouths of babes you have ordained praise. You look at a child and there's such enchantment to that child. But you hold your spouse in your arms who has loved you in spite of all of the blunders you make and you know you belong to somebody who has given their life to you. It is love. And then you go through and find out evil hurts and destroys. Goodness is ultimately the way that God has called us to be. And that when I looked at my mother as she was dying and my father asked me to preach at her funeral, she was only in her 50s. I said, Dad, I'm struggling. He said, why? Now, I had come to know the Lord before my father. He said, all I can think of is that she's gone. She's gone. Dad said, son, get on your knees and ask God to help you complete the question, God, where, gone where? And the one word that came to me was she was gone home. She'd gone home to be with the Lord. As an itinerant man, I cover the globe. When I get back into my home, I put my suitcase down and I get down on my knees and kiss that kitchen floor. It is so nice to be home again. How much our eternal home is going to be even greater. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, neither has entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. You want meaning, you will find it in Christ who gives you that wonder, that truth, and that love, and that security. Meaning is not only in propositions, it is also in relevance and experience. And he alone is both truthful and true and relevant. If you don't know him today, why don't you invite him into your life? Yeah. And you begin your journey with him, you will find what meaning is all about. He has made you for himself and your heart will be restless until you find your rest in him. When you walk lockstep with him, like the disciples at Emmaus Road, you'll say, my word, how did I not see it all right from the beginning? He will connect the dots for you and you have to begin by trusting the Lord of history who writes his story in your life. Mm -hmm. Thank you.